Well, it has been a really spectacular symposium, full of very interesting uh, new uh, introductions. So, of course, uh, Rhythmia is the winner in the field of the mapping systems now. The, it clearly was shown that the benefits of high resolution mapping are outstanding, both for atrial arrhythmias and ventricular arrhythmias. I think that the spectacular feature to localize areas of prior gaps is something unique and really probably will allow better definition of circuits in patients that have already undergone a prior atrial ablation procedure. And when we shift to the ventricular field, substrate analysis and assessment of substrate modification is definitely superior when achieved by this very high density of mapping. So this for us is really a revolution. Uh, Catheter-wise, I was kind of interested, and I think it, it's a very nice message to be able to use embedded multi-electrodes into the big electrode to get a clear review of the electrophysiological properties of capture and voltage after an ablation. So the, again, I think this is a road that we should probably run for the future. It was pretty nice to prove uh, by the mini electrode study that the characteristics of uh, both increased threshold and decreased amplitude of voltage following an ablation that are definitely poor, poor indicators of lesion assessment now with the ablation catheters may be reviewed. So all of us are pretty skeptical in assessing decreased voltage amplitude, increased threshold after an ablation using the conventional catheters. These data that have been presented by Dr. Armentral shade some light on the opportunity to rev revise this concept and probably make them much more useful, I think both for PV isolation and for ventricular lesion assessment.